we've got George Forsyth with us and just talking about the game against Evesham. Um, I thought the lads put in a really dominant performance and it kept running until the last. Yeah, um, as a team, yeah, like I say, it was, it was tough. Conditions didn't help really. Uh, I thought the pitch was good in the end, to be fair. Quite sleek to play, but as you say, great shift from the lads. And for some of us, it's our first 90, so yeah, it was good shift. Physical and strong opposition as well. I mean, yeah. you certainly look at the, the quality that's come through the Harriers Academy yourself. Uh, included, you must be really proud of, of the product that's on show out there. Yeah, so. I think they thought, you know, kids will bully them, and you know, we've heard it all before. The lads know it in their day. We knew what to expect, to be fair. So, you know, we've gone out there and just played football. And yeah, you got a bit scrappy, to be fair, suited them towards the end, which is going to because it was a few tired links. But like I say, I thought we were just better than them overall, and for just fine now, so we. And not only did the lads play some good football and did things well technically, but also stood up to that physical challenge yeah. with some challenges as well. well so I don't think there's a, I don't think there's really a, a difference um, in physicality for we matched them, if not probably better. Like the scoreline suggests that. So yeah, I'd say we stood up to them, and uh, like I say, we were technically better than them. We knew that, and it was just whether we could, you know, come in here and produce something else. So yeah, three now. Talked about. Um, Jordan playing a big role in all three goals really but I'm, I'm sure John O'Brien will take a lot of the credit yeah, for the result well, as well <laughs> yeah sure for me yeah we're going to change for him you know it was always good to be fair he was, he was under the cosh for a bit and uh, if they had a nicked one you never know so fair play to him and he's done well and he's good he's top lad you know him and, like I say uh, so, you know, and he's done well actually with the chippers at the end because he saved him and then obviously he could have chipped him but yeah, like I say, he's done well, so yeah, fair play to him. You mentioned the final, there'll be plenty of competition now, but in terms of Starbridge and this result, the young lads have worked hard, haven't they, together? Yeah, like I say, we, we all want to play in the final. Um, and I think it's at Bromsgrove, is it? Bromsgrove, so it's another game. Hopefully, we'll be involved. If not, you know, I'm sure there'll be a few unhappy if we're not involved, So because obviously we've got there. We'll just see, take every game as it comes and just enjoy it. You mentioned fitness-wise and your first 90 minutes yourself included. How are you feeling physically? Last 10 felt long. Um, I, f I feel quite fit, to be fair, especially, you know, I was playing the same role, which, you know, you need to shuffle a lot, but not much, uh, you know, pressing that. But I moved up the pitch, and that's when you got to press a bit more. And, uh, yeah, it was tough, last 10. But, like I say, it's all, it's all in the bank. It's all worth it.